Okay, guys, as you can see, I'm getting pretty close now, so I'm gonna go ahead and kill everything. Or most of it. Now we're gonna very, very slowly fall down. Extremely painfully slowly. But I can see our shadow, so that's a good sign. And, uh, we are almost there. Looks like we're going to land on a little bit of a slope, so we might want to do something about that. Let's see, where's that shadow at now? Okay. Let's see if we can crew report again. Oh, while in space near Gilly. Yeah, let's go ahead. That's EVA. Maybe we shouldn't be doing that, but let's see. Okay, get back in. Let's, uh... Let's keep that data, too. Let's see, we should have another goo canister to do. Okay. Whoa. Let's uh should not have stopped paying attention for a second. Let's see here. Let's just just get pointed away from the slope a little bit. go down in that valley, I think. And I want to stop going up, please. <laughs> it's crazy that the gravity is so low that I can actually do this. <clears throat> Hard looking on fuel. Uh, hopefully we'll be okay. Really should not have stopped paying attention there. Alrighty. This is going to take a little bit longer, guys, so we'll probably cut this out at some point a little bit, but I don't know. Maybe we'll just keep it, actually. <clears throat> oh, boy. <clears throat> Coming down almost directly ahead. At Whoa. Oh, please, I hope I don't tip over. But if I do, I think I'll still be able to be okay.
Okay, we're coming more or less straight down, it looks like now, on the side of a giant hill. Which I'm not too thrilled about, but I, you know. Let's see if I can RCS my way over this direction a little bit. from this big slope. Oh, jeez. Shouldn't be so difficult. But it is. <clears throat> Okay, I should just let myself fall very gently down to the surface. Because the SAS is going to keep me upright. Because the gravity is just that low. <clears throat> In fact, yeah, I should just really at this point just not even touch it. So close. Okay. Let's just let gravity pull us down. It's going to take a little time. Okay. Come on, forces of gravity. <laughs> I'm tempted to thrust downward on the RCS, but I don't think that's such a good idea. Okay, almost down. Alright. <clears throat> okay, I think we're landed. Transmit that off and do another one. Okay. Oh, stop. Oh, it is annoying how low the gravity is, so low that I cannot land. So let's go out and... Okay, do that. And I can't do another one. Alright, you need to stop tilting over like that, please.
Okay, stop. <laughs> Very annoying. Okay, from Gilly Surface, 225. Okay, one more of these to do as well. Another 90 from that. So now we can go ahead, do our small stuff here. Seismic data, 180, not too shabby. I can't do that one, because I'm still in a vacuum. Let's see, let's review that. We'll in space over, so we can get 64, and then do it again. Once this transmits, gravity scans is one of the larger uh, science data point things. Let's log the temperature. Okay, now we can log it again and keep it. Okay, now we are ready to do an EVA. Let's see, do that one. Can't do it there. So let's go ahead and jump off. Sweet. And. 72 out of that, and a whopping 270 out of that, and we'll go ahead and plant that flag. Let's see if we can get a good angle for a picture on this guy. Gilly sucks. Gilly is extremely annoying to land on. And our vehicle right by the SAS alone. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, scoot over. All right. Turn our lights on here because it's getting kind of dark. And now we want to rendezvous with this guy. So we'll set the target. And let's see, it's in an altitude of 12,000 meters. So that's where we need to get to. We need to do that by burning about east, northeast, probably around, it's not quite a 45 degree. All right, let's go ahead and try this. Okay, maybe a little bit more north. There we go. That looks about right. And 12,300, 12,000. That looks pretty good. That should be a good start. Okay. So we'll wait till we get up here and circularize. Okay, so that's note is in 23 minutes. Can't time accelerate, so I'll see you guys later. Okay, we're just about ready to circularize our orbit here around Gilly. I think I'm going to do this one. Well, I don't want to waste the RCS because we're going to need it. This is the part that I'm most worried about doing correctly. So let's just very carefully here. Okay. That's quite touchy. But that's good. Okay, so. All we got to do is set that as a target. Looks like we're darn close already. Um, I might just go around a few times here and uh, see if we can get well at this pace. Not really worth it. All right, let's see here. Hit the descending node. Move it up just a smidge and. 
Let's see if we can get a pretty close encounter here. Well, we don't want to do it like that, do we? Probably not. Okay. Okay. Oh, look at that. That would do nicely. Oh, come on. Just had it. Separation point four kilometers. I can pretty much live with anything around there. Point two. Oh, come on. Wow. Really doesn't take much, does it? Yeah, point two is more than sufficient. Um. Okay, so. When it, that's only a one meter per second burn. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. I might as well just... alright. Um... Okay. So that is gonna be a... Let's see, 90 is there. It's gonna be a burn somewhere in this direction. In about an hour, so... Let's turn on our SAS again here. And... Man, that is just a tiny amount. That's really crazy. I guess that's sort of how Gilly works. So, this is going to take a second. Okay, it's time for our one meter per second burn here. Oop. Okay. Now, why is let's set that as a target huh okay that didn't seem to do the trick so let's here oh. okay that's the separation of point two again sometimes this just takes a little bit of finagling with things and everything like that Um, so that note is in two minutes here. Let's turn off our CS. We don't need that. It's a 0.2 meter. See, how am I supposed to even do a 0.2 meter per second change? That's just crazy. Alright, well, let's just keep fiddling with it. We might have to just, at some point, just uh, do this kind of cowboy method. Um,. We have plenty of fuel, everything should be okay, but anywho, let's go ahead. Okay. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Okay. Oh, see. Oh, RCS helps. Ah, there we go. Let's just, uh... Now it is time for... Okay, now we're in target mode. That's good. pretty nervous about this. Alright, looks like we have an encounter set up around 20 million miles from Kerbin. That burn's going to be in about a day or so, so I'm going to go ahead and get oriented. And uh, I think we're set on fuel. Let's go ahead and, you know, I just remembered something. I don't think we ever did a gravity scan. Where's our gravity? Where's our gravity probe here? No, nope, can't do that one. This one. Well, I want to risk it, so never mind. Let's just go ahead and get home.
Good. Give it another couple minutes. Four, three, two. Let's go one more. I don't know. Doesn't really. Won't make a huge difference. <clears throat> Beautiful. So uh, I'm thinking after this mission, I will probably try to go to Jewel. Well, first I think I'll rescue Jebediah from Draz, and then because I'm gonna, there's still a lot of science that I haven't quite uh, gotten because of that. So I have to go take care of that business. And then uh, if there's still more science to be done on the tech tree, then uh, I guess I might go to Jewel, drop a few probes, maybe drop a probe on Lathe and uh, maybe do a landing on one of the other moons and try to do basically the same kind of thing that I did here and try to get um, more home and um, yeah I think that by that point we'll pretty much be done with uh, with the tech tree as far as I can think of but uh, we'll see if we have to do another one after that um, well Elu is probably still going to be easier than Moho will be. Um, but uh, we'll flip a coin for that one, I think. Because I'm not really sure uh, what we want to do with that. Alright, we're going to very swiftly come into for landing on, uh, on Kerbin. And look how much fuel I have left. I mean, I could almost go do something else. I could almost go back to Duna and back with that much fuel. And there's also, you know, all the fuel in the lander, too. Let's see how much fuel is in this thing still. Oh. Oh, it has been draining out of there. Woo! I didn't notice that. Okay, well. Yeah. I think that was... We still had a lot left in there. Uh, excuse me. Uh, after our rendezvous. I don't know where it all went now. Um, kind of want to try this whole jettison the engine trick. Uh, oh, oops. Alright, I'll show you guys again in a second. Wait for us to get where we need to be here. And then I'll just bring my periapsis down. Okay, sweet. Alright, now we want to go pretty much due south. I just want to go like this. Maybe like that. Mm-hmm, yeah, south. I think... Might as well use our RCS, because... I don't need it anymore. East. That looks good. Let's just focus here on what we can. Oh, we could almost do a moon landing. No. No, it's not even worth it. It's not worth the risk. It'd be fun to try. Uh, we're going to be 
just fine now. <clears throat> This is coming down quick. Let's get over this way a little bit more. Yep, there we go. We can aim for the North Pole again just for fun. Still potentially some science that could be done with the barometer and thermometer and stuff. Yeah, let's do it. That'd be cool. Let's go this way a little bit here. Almost there. There we go. Let's go a little bit more out further. Yep. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Looks like we might get something out of it. Alright, let's go ahead and take just, hmm, how do we want to do this? This rate, they're both going to be on a collision course for, we'll take some of this fuel and put it in here in case we, I don't know, have an emergency, need an emergency powered landing, which we shouldn't because we have so many parachutes at this point. Alright, that's plenty. Stop. Alright, and now I think we're ready to undock. Anything I'm missing here? Uh, Bill, you ready? Let's see, are we, are we landing? We're definitely landing. So. Let's undock. Other vessel here. Let's Doesn't really matter that we're right next to each other. Okay, stop that. Okay. Now then. Let's just. Whoa! Didn't mean to ex time accelerate quite that fast. Jeez. I hate when that happens. Okay, we can see the other part of our thing. It's still pretty close to us. Not that that matters. Let's go ahead and... Can we retract our panels here? <clears throat> Come on. Alright, stop spinning. Retracting solar panels for re-entry, Captain. And let's line up. This way. And whoosh. We are in Atmo. Activate that engine right now, just in case. We don't really need to. Well, actually, let's go ahead and do it. Let's just burn, 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 burn. Okay. Time to deploy the chutes. Keep 
going here. <clears throat> on our landing legs. Okie dokie. I think we uh, are looking quite excellent here. Bill seems awfully serious. He is the serious one though. Wait for our parachutes to deploy. Alright, we landed safe and sound. Time to see how much science we got from that mission. Four goo canisters, four science juniors, and all the rest of it. So let's see. Oh, 1,700. 503 science. Oh, sorry, no. 1,753 science. Excuse me. 0.9 science. Very nice. So we got a surface sample, gilly, goo. Not too bad. And you know, I bet there's some debris, other bits and pieces out there, maybe. Um, we'll have to look into that. Alright guys, as you can see we have a total of 3,003 science all saved up and ready to go. And uh, we will spend that on the next episode of Fuzzy Fractal 42's career mode. Um, thanks so much for watching and see you next time.